Throughout history, mankind has had limited encounters with extraterrestrial life beyond our planet Earth. Our knowledge has mainly been limited to the identification of exoplanets that could potentially harbor life, although none have revealed any signs of intelligent beings. However, everything changed when scientists intercepted a remarkable signal originating from the vicinity of Proxima Centauri, the nearest star to our own solar system. This signal discovery has revolutionized the prospects of finding extraterrestrial life beyond Earth. The intriguing question arises, where did this radio signal originate, and how did it reach us? Join us as we delve into the fascinating investigation to determine the possible source and unravel the mysteries surrounding the signal from Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri, located a mere 4.2 light-years away, has become the focus of intense scientific study as it stands as our closest stellar neighbor to the Sun. Discovered in 1915 by Robert Innes, this star belongs to the southern constellation of Centaurus and possesses a diminutive size and mass. Unfortunately, Proxima Centauri is not visible to the naked eye, as it holds a quiescent magnitude of only 11.1, requiring observation through telescopes. Similar to our own solar system, Proxima Centauri hosts a collection of stellar bodies, including identified exoplanets in orbit. With a mass approximately 12.5% that of our Sun, Proxima Centauri is classified as a dwarf star. Intriguingly, this star exhibits a significantly higher average density, about 33 times that of the Sun. Consequently, its immense weight exerts a gravitational force that is much stronger on the celestial bodies within its orbit. Notably, despite its low luminosity, Proxima Centauri is characterized as a flare star, subject to sporadic and violent releases of intense radiation. The discovery of the signal originating from Proxima Centauri has opened up a new realm of possibilities in our quest for extraterrestrial life. As we embark on a journey to unravel the enigmatic nature of this signal, the secrets of Proxima Centauri await us, hidden within its intriguing star system. The flares emitted by Proxima Centauri have a direct impact on the two known exoplanets orbiting the dwarf star, Proxima Centauri b and Proxima Centauri d. Additionally, there is a potential exoplanet candidate, Proxima Centauri c, which orbits at a distance of approximately 220 million kilometers from the dwarf star, completing one orbit every 5.2 years. However, due to its apparent distance from the star, the existence of Proxima Centauri d is a topic of intense debate among astronomers worldwide. While the presence of the other two planets has been confirmed and is currently under study by astronomers and scientists, let's focus on Proxima Centauri b. This exoplanet orbits the dwarf star at a distance of 7.5 million kilometers, completing a full rotation in just 11 Earth days. It bears similarities to Earth, with a mass of approximately 1.17 times that of our planet, and resides within the habitable zone of Proxima Centauri. This proximity suggests the potential for atmospheric formation, with suitable temperatures for liquid water to exist on its surface. However, the habitability of Proxima Centauri b is a subject of considerable scientific debate. As a flare star, Proxima Centauri randomly emits bursts of electromagnetic radiation and solar flares, making it highly unlikely for the exoplanet to sustain habitable conditions. Proxima Centauri b receives about 10 to 50 times more radiation on its surface compared to Earth. The elevated radiation levels on Proxima Centauri b could lead to increased concentrations of oxygen and carbon monoxide in its atmosphere. These higher oxygen levels might foster the evolution of complex chemicals and organisms, which could potentially account for organic life on the planet. Scientists have proposed the intriguing concept that Proxima Centauri b might harbor an entire atmosphere teeming with organisms. This notion speculates that such organisms could be the reason behind the recently detected signal originating from that region. Moreover, the possibility of water on this exoplanet could foster chemical reactions conducive to the development of life, potentially nurturing extraterrestrial species. However, it's important to note that all of these ideas currently remain theoretical, awaiting further investigation and validation. Despite its challenges, Proxima Centauri b still possesses certain characteristics that make it a potential Earth-like planet. It stands as the sole planet outside our solar system within reachable proximity, offering a chance for interplanetary exploration. 
However, the vast distance means that our current rovers and satellites would require thousands of years to reach it. Nevertheless, this planet holds the promise of hosting extraterrestrial life, making it an enticing subject for scientific study. Although spacecraft may not reach Proxima Centauri b in the near future, scientists have been actively studying the region using telescopes here on Earth. Recently, they made a groundbreaking discovery, an unmistakable signal that appeared to originate from intelligent life. In April 2019, the radio signal, now known as Breakthrough Listen Canada 1 or BLC-1, was detected from the vicinity of Proxima Centauri. This signal was identified through the efforts of the Breakthrough Listen Project, an initiative dedicated to searching for signs of intelligent extraterrestrial communication throughout the vast expanse of the universe. The project has received substantial funding, surpassing $100 million, and has devoted countless hours of telescope observation in cutting-edge facilities worldwide. Since its inception in January 2016, this program remains the most extensive and comprehensive endeavor in the search for extraterrestrial communication beyond our own solar system. The BLC-1 signal, or Techno Signature, was captured by the CSIRO Parks Radio Telescope situated in New South Wales, Australia. At the time of its discovery, the telescope was focused on observing the region surrounding Proxima Centauri, the nearest star to our Sun, a task it had performed hundreds of times before. Over time, the telescope accumulated vast amounts of data, and it was only after meticulously sifting through this trove of information that scientists identified the distinct techno signal. During each observation cycle, researchers had to sift through hundreds of thousands, sometimes even millions, of signals to identify any unique techno signatures originating from space. To provide an idea of what they were searching for, these signals had to possess two specific properties, distinguishing them from other sources. One crucial property of the detected signals is that they must be confined to a specific and narrow range of frequencies, resembling radio broadcasts on Earth. This uniqueness is significant because natural processes are incapable of producing such signals. If a signal were to originate from space within this specific frequency range, it would undoubtedly raise suspicion. The second property involves the frequency drift of the signal, which must resemble the motion of exoplanets relative to Earth. During the observation cycle in question, the Australian telescope detected over 4 million distinct signals. The team embarked on the arduous task of filtering out irrelevant signals, eventually narrowing it down to approximately 5,000 signals of interest. The next step for the team was to cross-check these signals with known radio transmitters on Earth. After rigorous analysis, they were left with a solitary unexplained signal. Described as a unique techno signature, this signal exhibited a narrow broadband and emerged over a 30-hour observation period. Intriguingly, it was exclusively detected when the telescope was pointed towards Proxima Centauri. The discovery of this signal, named BLC-1, strongly suggested its origin from Proxima Centauri and displayed a distinct characteristic akin to the famous 1977 WOW signal. The WOW signal, a remarkable discovery, was a powerful narrowband radio signal detected by Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Telescope. This telescope served as a leading instrument in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. The WOW signal appeared to emanate from the Sagittarius constellation and stood as the first evidence of extraterrestrial communication beyond our solar system. Lasting for a 72-second window, the signal has remained elusive to other telescopes worldwide as it has not been detected since its initial discovery. Numerous hypotheses have emerged regarding the origin of the WOW signal, including potential human-made sources. However, none of these hypotheses have adequately explained the true origins of the signal. As of now, the WOW signal remains the strongest piece of evidence suggesting the existence of an extraterrestrial civilization transmitting radio signals beyond our solar system. Despite the similarities between BLC-1 and the WOW signal, the scientists at the Parkes Telescope were cautious and thorough in their investigation, ensuring that every other possible explanation for the signal's origins was thoroughly eliminated. The team understood the importance of attributing a radio signal to extraterrestrial civilizations only as a last resort, when all other plausible explanations had been ruled out. 
To achieve this, they conducted an extensive investigation aimed at eliminating any conventional explanations for the signal's origins. Initially, the team began observing Proxima Centauri nearly two years after the initial signal was detected, attempting to recreate the observation conditions that led to the discovery of BLC-1. During their observations, the team found no evidence of a signal similar to BLC-1 in the Proxima Centauri region. They then focused on exploring the possibility of a moving transmitter as the source of the signal. This investigation encompassed moving objects such as trains, planes, helicopters, balloons, and any electronic device capable of long-range signal transmission. While this line of investigation seemed plausible, it ultimately fell short in adequately explaining the characteristics of BLC-1. The signal appeared consistently over several hours, making it highly improbable for a moving transmitter to account for its trajectory and the observed drift. In a press statement, the team expressed the difficulty of constructing a continuous motion path that could persist as exhibited by the measured signal, even when considering variations in speed along the route. Similarly, the team pursued the investigation of satellites as potential sources for the origin of BLC-1. They determined that satellites in low Earth orbit moved too swiftly to account for the observed signal drift over extended periods, while geostationary satellites exhibited no drift at all. It was concluded that no satellite in orbit could have plausibly generated BLC-1. Subsequently, the team shifted their focus to deep space probes like Voyager 1 and 2, as they were the only man-made objects transmitting signals in deep space. However, the team was able to rule out these probes as none of them aligned with the telescope or were remotely within proximity to Proxima Centauri. This led the team to conduct a thorough examination of the signal itself, where they observed an apparent shift consistent with the Doppler effect. This finding indicated that the frequency of the signal was incongruous with what would be expected from the movement on Proxima b or any planet orbiting Proxima Centauri. The signal itself exhibited a frequency of 982.002 MHz and demonstrated a Doppler shift that increased in frequency rather than decreasing. This revelation prompted the team to revisit previously discarded data in search of similar drifting signals akin to BLC-1. Surprisingly, they discovered five signals resembling BLC-1 and upon further investigation, identified an additional 27 mirror signals. It was at this juncture that the true origins of the signal became evident. These signal frequencies were found to be multiples resulting from interactions with common clocks and other digital electronic devices. Astonishingly, it appeared that the Parkes telescope was inadvertently picking up its own radio frequency interference, albeit in a rare and minute form. The complexities surrounding BLC-1 serve as a testament to the intricacies involved in the search for extraterrestrial communication in the vast expanse of the universe. These findings will undoubtedly inform future endeavors in signal discoveries. Do you believe we will ever make contact with extraterrestrial civilizations during our lifetime? Share your thoughts in the comments. We'll see you in the next video.